This is Forge Daily with Mackenzie Barwell on the Forge Audio Network. Forge fans, welcome back to another episode. Today is September 26th, 2023. I'm your host, Mackenzie Barwell, here to give you all things Forge FC. As it stands, we've got three teams confirmed in the 2023 CPL playoffs, Forge, Pacific, and the regular season winners, Cavalry FC. Now Forge will look ahead to their second last matchup of the regular season this weekend against Halifax. And they've proven to be a contender all season long, an unfortunate loss for them against Vancouver this past weekend. But like I said, definitely not a team to be underestimated, especially given their home record. But in today's episode, we'll hear from a few Forge players post-practice, including Reza Rama and Alex ashenyoti Janssen. But first, let's turn to Match Week 24 of the CPL's Team of the Week, because we've got a few Forge players after that crazy game against Pacific on Saturday. And who better to start us off than in the defense, Reza Rama, of course, scoring his first CPL goal off a brilliant run and header to equalize early against Pacific in that fifth minute, I think it was. And something I didn't mention yesterday that I should have, he played both wing back and center back. With those injuries, he kind of had to make the adjustments on the fly, and he ended up winning the ball back seven times, helping Forge see out a crucial result. Next, we've got Kwesi Poku. Where do I start with him? Just an unreal performance on both sides of the ball. And Bobby spoke about this in the post-match press conference as well, touching on how much Kwesi's absence impacted the team. He was injured for a couple games, so had to sit out with those knocks, but he definitely made his presence known this past weekend, playing a big part in both of the first two goals for Forge, assisting on the first after winning the ball back in the attacking third, and then playing a crucial cross that led to the second. He would also finish with two successful dribbles and winning five of his 1v1 battles. Also, just five minutes ago, it was announced that he is the CPL's Player of the Week, so it just keeps getting better and better for him. Congrats, Quasi. And last but not least, we've got Wubens Passius. He is making his way up the rankings in the league's Golden Boot race as he scored a crucial goal on Saturday, standing as the match winner in Forge's 3-1 victory over Pacific. He now has nine on the season, trailing league leader Ollie Bassett, who's got 11, and then Taryn Campbell of Forge FC, still in second with 10. But Woob's inching closer and closer each game, so he definitely cannot be counted out in this one. All right, let's get to my post-practice conversation I had. I initially planned on doing it separately, but then we all ended up chatting together, so it's kind of a group interview. I had to ask Rama about his goal and how they're both feeling as we approach the end of the season. Okay. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. First goal. Was that also the first press conference that you did? Yeah, yeah. How'd it I'm go? not happy for that, but <laughs> it, go, it went good. Like, it was, was okay. I expect to be a bit more stressful or a bit more... I thought you did a really good job. Tough questions. Did you see the... I watched it yeah, afterwards. Yeah. Easy and good. Mm-hmm. You said that you had been thinking about scoring all day. Is that true? Yeah, I was thinking that day. Like, it happened before. It was not the first time, but it happened, like, twice in this season. And today, like, I was playing before the game online FIFA? with my friend. <laughs> something on the phone. And... I was so lucky, and my friend was like, you're going to score today. You're such a lucky guy. I spoke with another friend who was talking about scoring goals. He, was, he had game back in Greece, and was talking about that. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to score today. No way. Yeah, honestly. You said that the day yeah, of? Yeah, I said, yeah, the same day, with two persons. So that's how it... He's manifesting it. I don't know, maybe. I have to start. It's the Greek gods. Uh, yeah, it's the Greek gods. <laughs> <laughs> we have some. <laughs> it's Go not that much, ball. you know. Like, yeah. it's a small, like, I had, like... Like a small feeling, you know. Yeah, like yeah. It, in the day, like my two friends talk about that. It's like, oh, you gonna score? Or, I was like, yeah, I tried before, but he's not coming. So like last games, I wasn't really trying. Like in the start of the season, I was going up in every, every time I was like up mm-hmm. and down. Did you talk to them afterwards? Your friends that were saying yeah, as well? they they watched the one friend was here. One friend like, oh was yeah, there. they came. Yeah. Nice, nice. Two games left now in the regular season, obviously coming off a very solid win. What's the mindset for you and the and the rest of the team now, you know, with the regular season dwindling and playoffs approaching? Of course, this win brings a bit more positiveness, a bit more energy, a bit more life to the team. But the thing is that we have to still, like, being the same 100%. Like, we did something good, but there's nothing done. We have... Still two games in the playoffs, so mm-hmm. have to still continue, have this positiveness, 
this energy, this and motivation to go. And yeah. Yeah. No, I think we've we've uh, been improving these last couple of games, and I think it's important that we don't get comfortable with it because we are doing better and we got to keep pushing and keep playing a bit more desperate like we have been uh, the last couple of games and uh, I think uh, that can can help us a lot going into this next period. Do you think that would be considered one of the bigger challenges finishing out the season is like falling into that comfortability like what do you see being some of the obstacles in finishing second here? Um, Yeah I think as a team sometimes we have the uh, Sometimes we do get too comfortable when we have periods where it's, where it's going well. Um, even if you look at like smaller times, if it goes well in a game, sometimes we can get too comfortable and that's when we mm-hmm. get hit with something. Or uh, if we have a couple of games, a couple of weeks that are going well and then we start not doing the things that have done us successful because yeah, we yeah. get a bit too comfortable. So I definitely think that's an important factor to keep pushing and to keep trying to improve all the time and not be be like happy with what we've not done satisfied. but not satisfied yeah. with it yeah yeah Rama? We, we had the opposite too like having a bad games and we couldn't move on from that it was like but not bad game bad game after being mm-hmm. the same like we couldn't escape from that you know from, <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. From that, like we was trying but wasn't really working yeah but now hopefully we have like the standards are yeah finding some stability there and not yes, getting too yes. frustrated when you, it's exactly. not going your way you can't emotions you can't be really happy and yeah really and vice versa like... okay totally fair obviously that game was very stop and start it was a little bit weird in the sense where there wasn't a yeah, lot of continue yeah. or what's the word continue continuity con- con- continuity continuity, continuity yeah, okay yeah. um <laughs> having to teach them their own language yeah. <laughs> okay chill chill <laughs> So how are you how are you able to refocus? How are you able to use the motivation from the coaches kind of like during games like that? I don't know. To me for me it comes more from within. Sometimes you need a push or an adjustment mm-hmm. from the coaching side, but the desire to win and knowing what's at stake always have to come from yourself and from the inside. Yeah, okay, and, I uh, see, I see. And uh what can be very helpful from the sideline is that sometimes they they're not as much caught up like in the heat of the game yeah so they've yeah. got more of a level mind like minded mindset they can like look and see like oh this is what's going on so do this and those adjustments can mm-hmm. help you but like the fire and the desire to win you have to have no matter what mm-hmm. i think mm-hmm. so uh yeah yeah, I agree yeah. With him, but if the coach is doing it maybe some of the guys like it helps some yeah. of the guys maybe we are not all the same but if, even if it helps one guy that what Bobby is doing mm-hmm. is a big thing. Like they have a different some perspective. Guys, yeah, like not everyone said, is yeah. the same. Not everyone stays switched on for 95 minutes or mm-hmm. 90, what the game was, 100 minutes. Alex, have I ever asked you about pre-game superstitions? Yeah. Oh, you don't talk about <laughs> no. it? No, you asked me about superstition. No, you asked me about uh, something in the car with Borges when we... Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't want to answer. Oh, you- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have some, I- like, you know, the haircut. But Did you get yeah. one on Saturday? Yeah, of course. Let's go. Yeah. Finally worked. Bobby told me once. I told him, yeah. He's like, oh, you get haircut before the game. He said, you do too. Yeah. <laughs> do yeah. haircut too. <laughs> just, just shave. Yeah, shave. <laughs> Fresh shave. That's what I said. I said you get it polished. Yeah. <laughs> quick shine. And before we wrap up, I just wanted to provide a quick injury update. As you know, both G and Malcolm were injured um, on Saturday, but we can confirm that G is doing all right. He participated in a portion of training, and we'll hear more later this week on where he stands in playing this weekend. And then we also heard from Malcolm Duncan. He's in good hands and had some words on the Forge social media. Hi, Forge fans. I just want to give a quick update. Um, I've been seeing all the support you guys have been giving after the game two days ago. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm doing all right and I'm getting better. And I want to thank you guys for all that support. On that note, we will wrap up today's episode. Thank you all so much for listening. Don't forget, we've got an episode of Behind the Beard tomorrow. And then another episode of Max Access on Friday, which I'm particularly excited about because I interviewed Bex today. Oh my gosh, it was so funny. That guy makes me laugh. At one point, I felt like I was being interviewed. So it'll, it's got to be one of my favorites so far. On that note, have a fantastic rest of your Tuesday. And thanks again for listening. This has been Forge Daily with Mackenzie Barwell. If you like what you heard, please like, follow, subscribe, comment, and share. 